I've found the quickest and easiest way to sell your products on Facebook and Instagram from Shopify, yet nobody on YouTube has been talking about it. It's that good that it's generated me $22,000 in the last month with a return on ad spend of over 15. And the way I got this is over the last six months, I've been testing hundreds of different ad campaigns from the creatives to the structures, to the bidding, to the budgets, everything you can imagine over the last six months I've tested to see what works and what doesn't work. And I've finally cracked the code. I've been able to work out the most simplest and quickest way to get Facebook set up for Shopify so that you can start selling products in under five minutes. So today I wanna to take you through step-by-step step exactly how to set up Facebook ads for Shopify and sell products instantly. But I am gonna ask you one little favor. If you could subscribe to this channel, like this video, and if you did get something out of this video at the end, make sure you comment down below what it was that you learned. And I'll just keep making videos like this for you guys so you can level up your Shopify stores. To get started with this strategy, you're going to need to connect your Shopify store to your Facebook account. Now I have created a video that's gonna show you exactly how to do that. It's gonna help you set up your pixel and connect your catalog directly into the Shopify store so we can create this type of ad campaign. You can click up here to get access to that video right away. Once everything's connected, you can get started with this strategy. We're going to use a campaign type, which is called Advantage Plus Shopping. Now you may have heard about Advantage Plus before. Basically, it's Facebook's AI engine. It's the engine that captures all the data from across millions of ad accounts that it's on, the billions of visitors that it has, and it throws it into this AI and the AI helps you bid on ads. It's super smart and it's super fast. But what we're gonna do now is we're gonna throw another element in there, which is your product data. We're gonna throw that directly into Facebook and we're gonna say, hey, Facebook, I want you to advertise these products to the people who are most likely to buy them. It's called Advantage Plus Shopping. Let's get straight into Facebook now and I'll take you through how to set it up. So to get started, we're gonna click create and we're gonna choose the sales type of campaign because we wanna get sales, right? Let's scroll down, we're gonna give this a name and we're gonna call this name A+, which stands for Advantage Plus Shopify Shopping. And then we'll just click continue. Now from here, we're gonna choose Advantage Plus Shopping Campaign and we're gonna click continue. This is gonna give us the most simple version that we need to get this campaign set up. But I'm gonna show you sort of the tips and tricks that I've learned setting up these campaigns so you can tweak and optimize yours for it. So just remove the date there and we're gonna go through and we're gonna start setting it up. So for conversion location, we only need the conversions on our website. Website and app is if you have an app that you're sending traffic to. Performance goal is the number of conversions and then we're gonna choose the pixel. Now this is the pixel that you would have set up in that other video that I've talked about. This is the one that connects Shopify directly into Facebook. So choose your pixel. And we're gonna scroll down. We're not gonna change anything here. We're gonna let it do its own thing. We're gonna include this location. We're gonna keep going down. And we're gonna set our daily budget to $20 a day is absolutely fine for this style of campaign. And after you've set your budget, we're just gonna go into the next part by clicking next. So we need to make sure you scroll to the top and we're gonna call it Advantage Plus Shopping Campaign Ad, just so that we know the difference between the campaign and the ad. All right, let's go down and we can see we're connecting into one of my stores. We're gonna choose the Instagram account. So make sure you've got both Facebook and Instagram connected here. Now, what we're gonna do is instead of choosing manual upload, this is where we're gonna add our catalog. Now, this is the catalog that would have connected in from your Shopify store when you set up the pixel. So we click catalog and we can see I've got a different catalog coming in here. This catalog is actually from my daughter's earring store. She's nine years old and set up a Shopify store. It's pretty crazy. So I'm gonna connect in the catalog from my store. So let's scroll down a little bit and find this catalog. So I'm gonna grab it here. And this is my one here, Fight Gear Direct. We're not selling earrings today. All right, so we've got the catalog and we should start to see my products over here on the right. Perfect, that's exactly what I wanna see. Now the option we're gonna choose here is we're going to choose Carousel. The carousel is going to show a selection of products that people can browse through. The reason I like carousel in this type of campaign is it shows more than one product and it lets people engage with the ad. And more people engage with the ad, the better signals it gives to the algorithm to show that ad more often. We'll keep going down and this is where it gets really, really cool. It's called a product set. And not many people are talking about these product sets. Basically what it allows you to do is create 
hyper-specific ads for the right people to make sure that it's relevant to what they're looking at. So in my store, we have about five or 600 products in there, but they don't appeal to everyone. We sell boxing gloves to people who like boxing. We sell martial arts uniforms to people who like karate, and we sell skipping ropes to people who like fitness. All of those three different types of people are different audiences. So what we want to do is we want to make sure we don't have an ad that has skipping ropes, martial arts gear, and boxing gloves because it's too mixed. We wanna create an ad set that's specific to the person that we wanna target. So in this instance, I'm gonna create an ad set that's going to be around boxing gloves. So instead of advertising all products, we're going to press the plus next to this. We're gonna create a brand new product set. So we'll call this boxing gloves. And then we're gonna go in here and we're gonna choose product type. Now this product type is what's set up in Shopify. So we wanna make sure that all your products have a product type against them so that we can categorize them in here in Facebook. If you don't have a product type categorized in Shopify against a product, we're not gonna be able to create product sets. So we're gonna choose boxing gloves. And we can see now it's brought in just boxing gloves. But if I didn't have boxing gloves selected, you can see it has all these paddles, it has punching bags, it has speed balls. We don't wanna advertise all these, we just wanna add boxing gloves. Okay. And if I wanna get really crazy, we could add another filter. Let's just say we wanna go brand. And I want this brand to be added as. It would show me all boxing gloves that match Adidas. So you can really see the power of these product sets. You can be super focused and targeted on exactly what we want. So let's just do Adidas boxing gloves for this exercise. We'll click create. And now what we'll see in our ad here is only Adidas boxing gloves, okay? Awesome. So now we're gonna go through, we're gonna add a few more things. We can see here that we've got the headline. Now the headline is the section that goes into this little part of the carousel image there. It's going to show it in the caption section of the Instagram feed, okay? But what we can see is on the headline, it has this variable and that's called product name. We can add lots of different variables in here. So you press the little plus and it shows you what we can add. So we could write brand, we could have description, price, we could do everything like that. What I like to do is do something like this, new, so people know it's new. It's got the product name and that will do the main headline but if we wanna go even crazier, we can add something in like a description. And I really like doing this. In the description, I'd probably write something like price. So we could add a plus in here. We can have price. And you can see now it shows the name and it shows the price. So it says new product name and then it has the price here. And then we could even do something like free shipping. Something like that there. And so now when we look at the ad, we're seeing everything that we wanna see. All right, all makes sense. Pretty straightforward, right? So let's keep going down and fill in some more information because this ad does look a little bit bland. So we'll scroll down a little bit and we can see we've got primary text. Now primary text is the main section in the Facebook ad. So let me show you where this is. This is where the primary text is. And I'll just give you a little hint. If you're not sure where any of this stuff goes, just type it in there and you're actually going to start to see it over here in real time on the right hand side. So you can't really mess it up. You're used to seeing ads when you browse Facebook yourself. So just look at these ads the way you would look at ads from other people. So we can see this is where the primary text goes. Now, because we're in the world of AI and we're using Advantage Plus, why not use ChatGPT to help us write what we want to put in here? So I've created a little cheat sheet, which you can get the link down below. And basically this cheat sheet has all the prompts that we use to create content in Facebook ads. So I'll show you how we do it. First, we wanna understand what problem that our product solves. What is the product that you have that solves the problem? Why should they buy the product instead of from you instead of a competitor? And how does your product solve the problem? We then use that, throw it in the chat GPT, and it gives us back everything that we need to put into this ad. I'm gonna select that and I'm gonna copy. I'm gonna go across to ChatGPT. I'm gonna paste it into ChatGPT and fill it in the way, I'll just hide my. So this one says, you're an expert direct response copywriter. Write a Facebook primary text using best practices based on high performing Facebook ads that solve the problem. All right, the problem you solve is, uh, we're gonna say cheap, low quality boxing gloves that don't last. That's the problem, okay? So it says, solve the problem of boxing gloves that don't last by using Adidas premium because you need to, why they should buy it. So why would they be buying these boxing gloves? It's because they want to perform better and they want to win fights in the ring. Perform better at boxing and win your sparring matches. Okay, awesome. They do this by, and then how does it solve? 
so we could do things, you know, the features of the product. So uh, high quality leather made in America or made in the USA. Us Australians call it America, we'll call it the USA uh, in USA. Use paragraph and list formatting where possible with no hashtags. I'll fix the spelling. I'll fix the spelling on that one. Uh, should be no longer than 200 words. Let's click that in. How good is this? How <laughs> good is chat? What would life be like for us without ChatGPT, hey? Okay, so let's select this. We will copy it, or you can press the little copy button here. And we go back to Facebook ads. And you know what? We're gonna paste it in here. And now you can see over on the right hand side, what do we got? Ready to dominate sparring matches. So we have a bit of a look at that and see if it makes sense. I think having two of these looks a bit funky, but everything else looks pretty good. Made in the USA, that looks great. Okay, cool. So we have shop now. Now the website URL is actually important. What a lot of people do here is they drive them directly to the homepage. But if people are clicking on this, they've already got intent and they're already a little bit down the funnel. So what we wanna do here is we want to drive them to the collection we're trying to sell. And in this case, it's Adidas Boxing Gloves. So we want it to be directly to the Adidas Boxing Gloves collection. Best way to get that is browse to your site and actually browse to that perfect collection. I'm gonna go through, I'm gonna choose Adidas and I'm gonna grab that collection there and bingo, we put that in there. Okay, now the display link is the link that people see because we don't want them to see this full long link here. So we're gonna go through and we're just gonna type in fightgeardirect.com.au. So you'd put your one in here. And then I'm just gonna write in Adidas Boxing Gloves. Now this doesn't need to be a real URL, it's called a display URL. So we want people to think that's what they're clicking when they click it because it is gonna take them through to Adidas Boxing Gloves. Now we don't need to fill anything into deep link to website because we've already got that in the website URL. Now, unless you have a mobile app, we don't need to do anything here. So let's keep going down. And we've got our tracking set up, great. And everything else is hunky-dory. Now to preview this to see what it looks like, what we're gonna do is we're gonna scroll back up and we're gonna click Advanced Preview. And in here, it's gonna show you exactly what these ads are gonna look like in all the different areas. So this is what it's gonna look like in Facebook feeds, in Instagram, in Instagram profile feeds. The other awesome thing about using this Product Set Advantage Plus tool is it even puts it in Facebook Marketplace. So if you've got your product listing, it's not gonna show an ad of someone using the product. It's gonna show the product in Marketplace just like someone would normally upload a product to Marketplace. So people who are in Marketplace think they're buying from someone directly, yet they're buying directly from your store. It's a really cool hack. You can see that it puts it in video feeds and does the text over the top. Uh, we can see it's got in the right hand column, explore, Instagram explore, it goes into the reels, it goes everywhere. So you can see why I really love this type of campaign. It's putting your products in front of people everywhere. Now, if you wanna have a look at what that looks like on your device, you can go up here and you click share. You can either share the link or you can send the notification to your Facebook. And this only works if you have an iPhone, but what happens is you get a little alert on your mobile phone and you can look at it directly in the app to see what it looks like. So you can really sort of start to optimize this. Now, if there isn't something you like about it or you wanna make some changes to the text, you can go in here and you can just make those changes as you need, all right? So you can make the changes here, you could change the way the heading comes up. You can really play around with things. So once we're ready to rock and roll, you know what we do? All we do is we click publish and that ad is now set up and ready to go. So what I would now do is I'd go in and I'd create two or three different ads for different product sets. And the quickest way to do that, is we go back into the campaign, we click edit, and then next to the Adidas Boxing Gloves one, we go quickly duplicate. And what that's going to do is duplicate another one. So let's just say we want to do a different Boxing Gloves ad. We would go Advantage Plus Shopping, and we'll call this Fairtex Boxing Gloves another brand that we have and then what we do is we scroll down and instead of advertising the boxing gloves product set we'd go through and we would add a new one and we do the exact same thing we'll call this Fairtex boxing gloves we go product type is boxing gloves we add the brand Fairtex can see different brand of gloves here. We click create. 
And so now we can see we've got the different boxing gloves in here, but we have the same primary text. So what we do now is we'd go back to ChatGPT and change the product that we're selling. Let's do that. ChatGPT, copy the exact same prompt, type it in here, but we're gonna reword the Adidas. Fair text premium boxing gloves can read perform. Uh, so it's basically the exact same thing, but these ones are made in Thailand. And we will do the same thing. Copy that, go back to the ads manager, delete that, put that in there. And team, we just need to change this link. Copy the link, put back to here, change that. And you know what? Have a little preview. I'm pretty confident with what we're doing here. You can see that's exactly what I want to see. Uh, close it off and publish. Publish was successful, two ads were published. Guys, that took me less than five minutes and not only did I create one ad, I created two ads, very specific, tailored directly to the people that want to buy it. It spreads the ads across Facebook, Instagram, Marketplace, Reels, you name it and it took us next to no time to set it up. Now I did say at the start of this video, if you uh, like this and you've learned something, comment down below. So now's your time, drop a comment down below what you learned from this, I'd love to hear. And what else do you wanna learn about Shopify, Facebook, Meta, Instagram, whatever it is to grow your Shopify store, I'd love to hear from you. I've got lots of other videos around, so feel free to check those ones out.